subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about our second data pre-processing technique uh, that is normalizing. Uh, in our last class, we already discussed about the problems that we come across uh, using uh, numerical data and we discussed about the first uh, technique to solve the problems that come across with the numerical data. What's the technique is min-max scaling. Uh. So please watch our videos from the beginning. Please follow our playlist so that you will have a better understanding of the subject. The second method for scaling is uh, normalizing is our second method and the third method is standardizing. Uh, we will discuss that in our next class. In this class we will discuss about normalizing. Uh, before going into the concept uh, we must have some basic mathematical knowledge on vector calculus. Uh, coming to vector calculus, a vector in a two dimensional space is given as 2,8. A vector is having both magnitude and direction. This vector is moving in this direction and the magnitude means the length of the vector. Okay, if you take uh, another vector, the this moving in this direction and the length changes, the length of the vector changes. So, a vector is having both magnitude and direction. Norm of a vector is nothing but a if the vector distance from the origin, the length of the vector from the origin, we call it as norm of a vector. Norm means normal of a vector. So how to calculate the normal of a vector? 2 comma 8, 0 comma 0. The distance between these two points, how, what's the distance between these two points? How to, what's the equation? Square root of 2 minus 0 whole square that is x2 minus x1 whole square 8 minus 0 whole square that is y2 minus y1 whole square this is how we calculate the distance between two points okay that is what the length of the vector from origin so this is how we calculate you can eliminate 0 because 8 minus 0 is 8 2 minus 0 is 2 you square it and square root of this is how we calculate the norm of a vector this concept we use in our normalization so coming to our normalization a vector is given as 4 1 2 2 this is a vector in four dimensional coordinate space okay a norm of a vector is calculated as 4 minus 0 whole square that's why we are not writing 4 minus 0 Anyway, we explained here 4 minus 0 whole square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square square root of which is 5. The value is 5. Okay, we, we take a vector and we norm, we find the norm of a vector. So, why we are calculating all this? You will understand later. Why we are calculating, why we are taking vector and why we are calculating norm of a vector. A unit vector of this vector is given as a unit vector of this vector. What is meant by unit vector of this vector? A vector that moves in the same direction as this vector, same direction it will move. But the length of the vector from the origin, that is norm of a vector, norm of a unit vector will be 1. That is what unit vector means. So this is a vector. Unit vector is a vector which moves in the same direction of this vector same direction but the length is 1 the norm of the unit vector will be 1 that is what unit vector means how we calculate the unit vector so take this vector find the norm of this vector if you divide this norm with the vector the resultant is unit vector 4 divided by 5 1 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 2 divided by 5 0 0.8 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.4 this is what unit vector of this vector okay so look at this carefully 4 1 2 2 when we find the unit vector what's the values we got 0 0.8 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.4 okay so we we scale down these values to values between 0 and 1 we scale down the values these values from values between 0 and 1 this is what we discussed in our previous class. We have to scale down. The problem of numerical values is because each column is having in a different scale. We are scaling down here. 
So this is the normalizing technique. Let's consider a vector like this minus 4, 1, 2, 2. So what's the unit vector for this? Uh, that is a minus 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. So in normalizing, uh, when you scale down the values, the values you may get between minus 1 to plus 1. The values which we may get is minus 1 to plus 1. So we scale down the values to minus 1 to plus 1. In min-max scaling, we are scaling the values to 0 and 1. But in normalizing, we will scale down the values to minus 1 to plus 1. Okay, you understand? So and one more point you have to remember the norm of this unit vector means the norm of a normalized data is 1 that is a square root of 0 0.8 whole square this is unit vector plus 0.2 whole square plus 0.4 whole square plus 0.4 whole square this is equal to 1 this is what we are providing the norm of this unit vector means we normalized the data. The normalized data is coming between minus 1 to plus 1. If you find the norm to that normalized data, that is unit vector, we will get 1. This is what normalizing means. Okay, now let us check how to write the code for normalizing. From sklearn.tree processing, import normalizer. Normalizer is a class in sklearn.tree processing package. We, have, we are importing that package. Uh, so take uh, the data x is equal to 4, one, list within the list. This is the uh, same example which we had considered uh, in our last class, list within the list. Uh, list within the list is given as uh, a two-dimensional array in our C language. Uh, this is how the data looks like, 4122, 1393-5751. So what's our normalizer class dot fit of? What's our normalizer, how our normalizer works? It will take the first line of data and normalize it. It will take the second line of data and normalize it. It will take the third line of data and normalize it. So what is this first line of data? 4122. Normalize it means you have to identify the norm of this first line. Norm of this first line. That is square root of 4 square plus 1 square plus 2 square plus 2 square. To identify the norm of this line. 1 square plus 3 square plus 9 square plus plus. 3 square. Identify the norm. Divide it. We will get the normalized vectors. This is how normalizer will work. It will take the first line. Normalize it. It will take second line. Normalize it. It will take third line. Normalize it. Okay. Normalizer dot fit off. In our last class, we already discussed about fit. Fit method. What's fit method do? It will do all the calculations that required to transform. What's the calculation we required here? We have to find the norm of this vector. Norm of this vector is 5. In the fit method, it will calculate all those. Norm of this vector. Norm of this vector. Whenever you apply t dot transform of, now transformation will come. Transformation will be done. Uh, how we are displaying the transformation values? Uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. This is the normalized vector of this. Uh, normalized values of this first line. This is the normalized values of this second line. These are the normalized values of this uh, third line. Okay, one important point we have to remember here is in our last class, we applied min max scaling on a, a two dimensional array. Min-max scaling works like a take the first column, scale down, take the second column, scale down, take the third column, scale down. Min-max scaling works on columns. But normalizer is working on a lines. It is taking the first line, normalize, taking the second line, normalize. But in real-time data sets, which we discussed in our last classes, uh, cardio data set, uh, on, on what values, whether we have to normalize on lines or we have to normalize on columns. We have to normalize data on columns. Take the first column, normalize. Take the second column, normalize. But normalizer working on lines. What to do? How to do? Take it as an assignment. Take a data frame, column 1, column 2. So take this column and normalize. Take this column and normalize. 
how to do that coding you identify by searching in the internet anyhow we will discuss this code when we apply this normalizing technique on our real time data sets cardio data set meanwhile take it as an assignment so that you will have a better understanding of the coding okay hope you understand now let's execute this code in our system coming here this is the code for normalizing from sklearn.preprocessing import normalizer so we took the data list within the list this is what we discussed in previously so t is equal to normalizer of dot fit of x we called a method in the normalizer which is called fit fit method fit on data x so we're printing the transformation this is how the output is let's execute the code let's execute the code so it is executing so do the assignment which we discussed in previously that helps you a lot in understanding the coding hope you understand the concepts if you have any questions regarding the concepts please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you